17 minutes till 7 now. A millage tax to provide more funding for Hillsborough County Public Schools did not receive enough votes to pass. The canvassing board completed its recount of the referendum yesterday. It was automatically triggered because Tuesday's vote uh, was just too close to call. A yeah, very, very tight election there. ABC Action News reporter Stassi almost live outside the district's main office in downtown Tampa. So, Stassi, what does this mean now for schools that this referendum didn't go through? Well, Superintendent Addison Davis, he talked to us last week and he said they are going to push forward. They're going to try to get this referendum passed again in the future. He says he's disappointed, but this isn't the first hurdle the district has faced, you know, in the past couple of years with the financial problems as well as COVID. So he says it's just back to the drawing board to make sure that every school can be staffed. This is not one of the, you know, the first barrier we have faced in the last two and a half years. Hillsborough County Public Schools Superintendent Addison Davis said last week that he thinks voters struck down a 1% millage tax due to economically hard times and a lack of trust with the district's past financial spending. In two and a half years, while this administration and this board has done a really good job of being fiscal responsible and transparent, it's hard to change the perception in that period of time of practices that have been implemented. Tuesday's results were within 0.05%, so the county completed a recount Sunday, finding that the district was, in fact, short nearly 600 votes. 110,486 people voted yes, and 111,076 people voted no. The margins didn't change at all. Uh, it remained at the exact same percentage as before the recount. Uh, you know, this just does, does nothing but show how accurate the equipment is, how well the thing counts. Uh, these ballots have now been run through three tabulators. The district started the school year short 680 instructional positions and said the funding was needed to increase teacher salaries by four grand and staff salaries two grand, in addition to adding art and PE teachers. One of the things that we, we have to be able to look at is, is class size. I mean, right now with over 600 instructional vacancies, you know, we may have to move class size, nudge that, you know, one or two students per class uh, at aggregate. Uh, we're working right now. So the reality is that actually only about 25% of registered voters here in Hillsborough County actually voted. So Davis said that they will be back in 2024, hoping for different results. Now these uh, election results will be made official Tuesday morning in the last meeting here in the primary elections. Reporting live in Tampa, I'm Stassi Almos, ABC Action News.